We bring in Symantec CEO Greg Clark joining us first on Fox Business. Good to see you, Greg. Thank you for being here. Hey, Liz, thanks for having us on the show. Oh, that's a huge it. story. Equifax loss, though, is your company's gain. Um, your stock has spiked, certainly, but have you seen a spike in new customer interest since the Equifax reveal? Uh, absolutely. I think yeah, this is a really big item for citizens of the United States. Some commentators have mentioned that this will be with us for, for life, and it really is an example of needing to protect yourself in cyberspace in many fronts, and identity protection is one of those. And uh, this is a prime example of it. Um, you know, if the Equifax CEO or executives or engineers knew of the vulnerabilities, and if they had a patch for this bug already, because it was released back in March, but didn't employ it, to Morgan Wright's point, should executives face criminal charges? You know, I think there's a lot of details in, in every company's cyber defense front, and, uh, you know, I think I'll... I'll hesitate to comment on that and, and leave that up to the to the folks that will you know, run run the appropriate investigation. I would say that it brings a couple of things to point in terms of enterprise. First of all, you know, cyber defense is a paramount concern, as you can see from here, and the data protection and the you know the data loss prevention techniques are extremely important. And as we saw with WannaCry, staying up to speed with vulnerabilities and patching those vulnerabilities. Is a, is a mission critical care about making sure you have compliance technologies, software that can help you get that done. I will make a comment on, on the particular patch. It is a difficult one to put in place. You have to really rebuild systems and redeploy them. Uh, it's well, not you as, do, as straightforward. Hold on. You do what you have to do, yeah. especially when you do. you're getting paid billions of dollars to basically buy and sell your and my credit my information yeah. and and therefore yeah. that's why people are so infuriated we had the pennsylvania state attorney general on cavuto coast to coast earlier he's absolutely livid he said seventy five percent of the pennsylvania adults in his state have been hit by this uh... oregon already has a seventy billion class action suit let's get to this 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 patch though uh, we heard that it was first yeah. the, the the breach not the breach that the actual vulnerability was discovered back on March 7th, and they immediately released a patch, this group, the Apache group, and, and suddenly Equifax doesn't have it until July? So I think there's definitely some questions there that, uh, that will be addressed. I think you know, the, that's just not something that you just go put on a server and it's fixed. You actually have to do a fair bit of work to get it there. But I think what's really important here is there's going to be breaches, there's going to be holes in systems. That's, that's going to happen, and really making sure that the data is protected at rest and, and there's authentication mm -hmm. mechanisms that are very tight on how to access it. It's a wake-up call for everybody with, with yeah. consumer data and other important IP. But I think, I think Liz, you know, we should talk about what we do about it now. We've got a bunch of citizens out there. They're at a heightened level of risk. And I think what we do about it now as, as citizens and how we take care of our digital safety is extremely important. Yeah, and can I and ask yes, you yeah. one important question? You acquired LifeLock for, yep, go ahead. Uh, you know, uh, stealing people's identities, protecting people from that. Does all of this underscore the fact that we maybe need to make social security numbers much more difficult to be able to hack or find? It's just a series of numbers which can easily be perhaps compromised. Do you see a change eventually but in the basic social security number? Oh, I, I think that we definitely, in the future, we will redesign how we identify citizens for online online commerce, online tractions, mm -hmm. authentication. You know, our birth credentials and how we deal with things online, there there will be some work done there. Uh, I th you know, so that is in our future. But right now, we have to live with what we got. And if you think about the kind of things that are, that are compromised, it's not just about making a fake credit card. When your identity is out there, you know, people can buy a gun with your identity. They can rent cars with your identity. They can create driver's licenses if they're criminals using your identity. Absolutely. They can change the registered address of your property and, you know, work on things like mortgages. It's, it's a profound and large problem, okay. and identity monitoring and identity protection is extremely important going forward. Tell the gang at Symantec uh, they're doing good work. Thank you so much. I will do that. Thank you all very much.